In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use a 2D drawing for a building control or building regulation requirement. On the right hand side is the drawing we're going to prepare on the left hand side in this example. First, I create a new project. And selecting the properties, I'm going to change the scale to 1 to 10. Using the visibility categories, I'm now going to hide the help elements in the 2D drawing, which we don't require. Turn in the origin and the north arrow or compass off. And now I'm going to hide the environment block. Selecting the horizontal guideline, I'm going to place my first guideline. And using the numeric parallel guideline, I'm going to set the second guideline at a set distance. In this case, 680 millimeters, which is the depth of our foundation. Zoom in using the rectangle. Now to place some vertical guidelines to define the width of our trench, which is 600 millimeters wide. The base of our foundation is going to be 300 millimeter high. And I'm now going to use a rectangle to define the foundation base. Double click on it, I can then change the fill pattern of the foundation. I'm now going to place a midpoint guideline, vertical guideline. I'm now going to demonstrate how you can enter a formula instead of a value into a dialog box. Now to draw the vertical blocks. This brick is going to be 100 millimeter wide and 215 millimeter high. And now I can select the shading for the brick. The first block to be placed on a 10 millimeter uh, cement bed. Now to duplicate the block, I select it and from the context menu select multiple copy, where I select nine copies with a distance of 10 and a clear distance in the top direction. That gives me a total of 10 blocks. Now to construct the right hand side of blocks with a cavity distance of 75 millimeters. 
I repeat the multiple copy as before. Delete too many, just select the brick and then press delete key. Turning the guidelines off, this is what we have. Notice my use of the zoom in and zoom out tools. I can also use the keyboard zoom in, zoom out controls. I'm also going to use a rectangle to represent the uh, ground section. Applying a darker hatch to this block, placing the new block. If the block is in front of the existing block, you can set the new block to the background by sending it back one layer. Now to select the hatching for this block. We're now going to create the floor layers using four separate blocks. Using the Ctrl plus W keys in order to define how the block is snapped. Whether it snaps to the center point, the edges, or the left hand edges. Watching me draw these four blocks is quite boring, so I'm just going to skip forward here. Only to double click on each layer to change the hatch for each layer. I'm now going to use a solid black line to represent the damp course layer. I'm using the cursor keys to move the drawing around. It's easier than grabbing the drawing with the mouse. Now to set some dimensions. Selecting a small black arrow. I can change all the details for the dimensions to suit my requirements. I have too many blocks in my drawing, so I just draw a selection box around the unwanted blocks and then when selected, press delete. I'm going to add a horizontal guideline to use as a snapping point for my my multiple horizontal guidelines.
Now to add some text. When you weren't looking, I selected some text, did a copy, and then paste into the text box, which is easier than typing it all out again. I can change the text size and move the text box around. That's given us a 2D section drawing we can use in our building control project. Thank you.